um, yeah, Kim, we've obviously seen little. We're also very encouraged by the fact that uh, there's ongoing cooperation dialogue occurring as we've established that joint security station within uh, Sauter City. Uh, operations are continuing there um, as we speak. Uh, that kind of dialogue had not occurred previously as the coalition Iraqi security forces continue to operate throughout all of Baghdad. Uh, we are concerned about any levels of violence that would seem to indicate it's back on the rise versus decreasing, and we're going to continue to focus on it. And again, as these additional forces still flow into the city, uh, there are plans to take and employ them, uh, both within Baghdad and the belts around Baghdad, where we know that's where some of the uh, violence uh, originates from and then works their way into the city. So we are watching it very carefully. Uh, but we, again, we just we urge everybody just real patience in the plan until we fully get all the forces in place uh, that truly can make a, a real difference there. Can you give some more specific idea of a time frame in which you expect to see progress? Um, yeah. Kim, we've obviously seen little um, positive indicators at the moment already. They, as General Petraeus has said, uh, once all the forces in, he, are in place, he, in fact, then uh, expects to start seeing uh, a more significant difference in the levels of violence and activities that occur within the city of Baghdad and the surrounding area. By the tall fall time frame, we would anticipate uh, uh, that we, in fact, will be able to see a discernible difference between today, what you see in Baghdad, and in the fall time frame, what you would see. And it won't just be because of the additional coalition forces. It will also be because of the professionalization that's going to be continuing both within the Iraqi security forces, the police and the army, as we've moved more transition teams, both larger numbers of them and, and in greater quantity in each of the teams, uh, to be embedded worth and to assist and advise the Iraqi forces. So it's going to be a combination of factors, not the least of which is obviously going to be the political spectrum. And, uh, you know, the Prime Minister has taken some very positive steps already. We're very encouraged by that. Uh, what we've seen, and then the economic uh, aspect of this plan should have also then had the opportunity to have taken hold and start making a difference.